It is Sunday, so I'm not expecting a lot from the thrift. That's all right. Sunday's a great day to go thrifting and just take your time, have a leisurely day. Are you excited? Always. They have a bunch of black Levi's here, but they are all Dallas's size. Look, jeans that'll fit you. Huge. They're 48s. That's about my size. Yeah. I was gonna make a joke say we could both fit in there, but no, nope, nope. just you. <laughs> <laughs> we got one, two, three, four pair. He's big. We have not been here in a good little while, and it looks like there's a bunch of games. Whole bunch of Wii stuff. Uh, I don't look like there's anything crazy. Got four rows of women's jeans here. So that's optimistic. Maybe we'll find something good. Don't always have high hopes though. Some uh not the right cut of Levi's. Hmm. Some white denim. It's tricky with women's jeans though because the rise isn't big enough. I should start bringing a measuring tape to the regular Goodwills too. I always bring it to the bins, but not to the regular Goodwills. These are cute. I just wish they were vintage. There's some vintage. Class no, never mind. I just looked it. This is though. $5 for some Lee jeans? Hmm, I'll think about that. It's not terrible. I have a bunch of Lee jeans on my page right now though, so don't need to go crazy. I'll check the size of them, see if they're uh, really worth getting. Hmm. Last row. Well, those Lee jeans are the only thing that piques my interest. I kind of do wish that the American Eagle wasn't embroidered onto the back, because like, that could make some sweet color blocks. How much are they? Ooh, they're $13, that's kind of a lot. Ooh, probably won't get them. A couple okay Nerf guns here, but pretty well overpriced, nine bucks. They're both $9.49. The tripod for this one is sitting over there, but $10 too much. So today's color is green, so I'm looking for green tags to be half off. I'll have to look at what the dollar color is. I don't really remember from last week. I've got it written down on my phone so that I always know what the uh, color order is. I don't have to go asking. So that's always a good tip, but uh, this is kind of cute. I wish it was a green tag because $6.49 is kind of a lot for that. It says, hand decorated in USA, cordon blue. It's very pretty. I like it a lot. A little tart pan. Very cute. Make a nice quiche or a custard tart. Kind of funny, but actually here's the box for that Nerf gun, which means it's pretty much here complete for $10. That's not bad. Uh, this is sitting here for $2.49. Let's go. We'll take. I'd be very tempted to get this, but I already have one. But I've never seen Tesla look like this before. Mine's like really small and skinny. So having this like completely fill the bowl is super nice, but $8.49 is a lot. And I don't really need a second one. The other one I have works just fine. I was like, what the heck? What is log blocks? Cause I saw this big hunk of Lego and I was like, oh great, perfect. But it's not Lego, it's another brand. Boo. <gasps> I wish this set was cheaper. This is so cute. Very fall. like double stacked so you can put like your tea and coffee in there 
And this guy guesses. Oh, well maybe this is the T one. There's like two stacks. One of two, it's $6.49 a piece. Sucks. So expensive. This is kind of cute. Rainy day money. The way to a mama's heart. Oh, to a man's heart is through his stomach. Funny. Some uh, very large fruits and vegetables on that. You know, a lettuce can canister as well. Canister? I wanted to say container, but then I said canister and I just kind of went with it. Time for a quick story time with Tindo here. So when we originally started reselling in antique malls well before we had this channel there was no tindo there was no shark tindo there was no tindo's trash our toy store that we were going to open was going to be called build your own toys byo toys that was going to be the thing and um, it never quite came to fruition in that original idea in that original iteration but one of the things i had was this huge table i was building where you could come to our toy booth our toy store and all these pieces would be laid out in sections and you could pay a flat amount you could build your own lightsaber and i was very pumped about that idea back then but i quite unfortunately got rid of all those lightsabers but i've been wanting to do that again very badly all these pieces are all interchangeable with one another so expect here in the near future after i acquire a few more of these to see a uh, a few more build your own sections in our antique malls because that was my original idea well before any of you knew who i was that's what i was trying to do and i still think it's a good idea oh this was clearly at someone's wedding it's a cute idea I've seen that kind of calligraphy idea a lot, but uh, this is kind of cool too. Obviously missing a few pieces, but pretty nonetheless. Coat rack. Wow. She's old. Seen better days. Poor thing. Those are kind of nice. You can adjust the sizes and get it, get an exact fit on what you need. Handy. So I was just telling some friends at the Goodwill bins the other day that some of the random Goodwills that I'll go to will just randomly have $7 games. And this seems to be one of them. $7 for this bad boy, which is just nutso. But uh, we'll scan it and see how much price charting agrees. $6.91 on price charting. Portal 2, five dollars. See what price charting says. Just see if they're close. 760, <laughs> marginally better. MLB the show. 610. It just randomly happens. I'll come back to this Goodwill a week from now, and all the Nerf guns will be two dollars instead of ten, and all the games will be a dollar instead of six or seven. It's just how it works on this part of that. So I'm not getting any video games, but we got we got what really matters. I'll go put these up. Well, I spotted a brat stall, but it's just one of those head things. Poor thing got smashed. She will not hold her head up straight anymore. It's rough. Well, that wasn't too bad of a start. Well, you didn't get anything. No, I found some cool stuff, but nothing noteworthy. Well, I've just been talking for a couple weeks now about these lightsabers we used to hoard uh, in hopes to sell them at our antique malls and I uh, it's just too good of an idea to not get back into though it's kind of like my Buzz Lightyear idea I keep talking about it's just gonna take some time to acquire enough to do it but I mean I figure if I had 20 or 30 of these things uh, I could probably make a, a table like we have our Legos in an antique mall and, and put them in there like that uh, we'll see
spotted this from across the store. I really can't believe my eyes. $15 probably gonna be worth it. Heck, that's crazy. It's a little bit more than I want to spend, but all that. I can sell all those clips alone for way more than that. That's nuts. I've been on a serious hunt for a custom order that someone wants that needs a 34 inch inseam but they also need them to be a 34 inch waist so i have had a little trouble finding something because in order for me to make a 34 i need at least a 38 so i have four inches to take out while i'm doing the work and the only 38 and i need a light wash so this is a, a no-go there's too many rips in the, the leg this one's actually a 34 but it's only a 36 shoot i just can't work with that Ah, we'll find it. I'm, I'm confident. There's some black Wranglers here. I'm trying to stick to just getting Levi's. So it's a bust today. What do we got? game here though. I had one Bratz game growing up. I don't remember which one it was. So I got it for Christmas like right whenever I was like kind of getting out of Bratz dolls so I didn't play it a ton. Hmm. My, next time we go home I might have to dig it out of the closet and check it out. Gotta check real quick to see if I have either of these games. This order up game looks cool. Looks like something Hannah and I might actually enjoy playing. Uh, okay, don't have. It's a really cool new feature actually on CLZ Games, the app I use to scan while I'm in the store. The sh if the title shows up blue, I already have it. If it shows up black, like order up, I don't have it. Didn't used to do that. Used to be very frustrating having to use this app to scan things, but uh, there you go. Uh, Unfortunately, the 749 on this Mega Man Retro is about all I could get out of it, so we're not going to get that one. It's a really cute golden butterfly casserole dish here, but no lid, just a bummer. What's well, 649 for it, which is like a little high, especially with no lid. Without the lid, it's not really worth a ton. It's like 12, 15 bucks, but uh, with the lid a little bit better, maybe like closer to 20 but casserole dishes aren't as exciting as the mixing bowls are, but it's still cool to see it. We're leaving it there though. Cute little green daisy set. I like that creamer, it's really sweet. That one's Pyrex. These are Corel, yeah. Well, we found a pretty good score here. Our toy booth, we sell these all the time for 40, 50 bucks, and that's without these nice clips. So. Let's make it up for your lack of anything. No, I'm not finding anything today. You know, about every two weeks you strike out. It's, yeah. it's about time. I'm you're, very picky. You're allowed. <laughs> <laughs> Video games first, and there are Sims. Not really a lot else. Infinity Pop Star. Okay, cool. All right, another Goodwill, another chance to find something. Hopefully, we find something because so far it's been a dud, but huh, we'll check. Soup, 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 soup. Kirk, 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 kirk. That's hard to say. <laughs> Little unicorn mug with the bow tie. Room essentials. That's Walmart, I think. Yeah. Hmm. It's so cute. Hmm. All right. So far, striking out. It's okay. Kind of cute. $1.49. T 
teapots aren't really something I do too much. This is cute. Oh, it's a green tag. Okay, we might get that. That's really cute. <laughs> Checking out the toys, and I think, I think I found all the video games right here. Madden 10, 11, 12. That's where they all went. I've been selling a few of these in my toy booth, but I wish I could find some slightly nicer ones. Spotting a few Tupperware things. The little tiny Tupperware like shot glass looking things. But $6.49 is kind of a lot for that. I wonder if those um, popsicle things are Tupperware too. We used to have top popsicle makers things at home whenever I was a kid. So you make a big old thing of Kool-Aid, put some extra sugar in it, throw it in the, the freezer and you're good to go. Summer days. Ooh. I think that's a measuring cup set. Let's investigate. 349. Oh, it's super melted. That's sad. Shoot. Almost was worth it. Bag toys, bag toys. Uh, well, that's pretty cool. About half the family. Eight forty-nine. This is a bummer. I really like this because I really need a TV tray, but uh, it's like nine dollars, which is way too much. But it is an actual TV tray. I just, for my personal taste, it's not my style. I can't really put it in the dish booth with it being that expensive already. So, boo. What'd you find? Nothing. Lame. But I'm filming you. Filming me. Well. Do you like my little strainer? Is that what that is? Is a strainer? It's little, a piggy strainer. A little porky strainer. <laughs> I'm into that. Yeah, there's there's not a lot going on at this Goodwill. I feel like we uh, came again too soon. We were here like last week, right? Yeah. We left with a bunch of cool stuff. Lame. Unless you're into this kind of thing. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> David Beckham is my Jesus, apparently. Apparently. Very nice. <laughs> Sacrilege. All hail David Beckham. These usually resell pretty well for me on offer up, but there's a few things to consider here. It's pretty roughed up. 1749 is a little bit too much to get a nice profit off of, but I've sold plenty of them on offer up. I'll probably just wait, and I bet that shows up at the Goodwill bins. I usually buy them at the bins because people come here and then think they can't get a return on because they don't realize they're not regular keyboards, they're just MIDI keyboards. So that's a bins buy. The jeans at this Goodwill are rip. There's like collectively five of them here. And then in the women's section, there's four racks with like just as few on them. <sighs> These Dickies overalls are interesting though. Size 32, $13 is kind of a lot. Last time I got a pair of Dickies overalls, they were pretty small and uh, I was able to flip them really fast, which is kind of surprising to me because they weren't old. They were just like these brand new. Um, but I know Dickies is a little popular right now, but uh, those I don't think are quite small enough. And I'm not gonna get them for $13. It's just not worth it. Are you guys ready for this? Mega shark teeth, five real teeth. Heck. There's legit some teeth in there. What the heck? I'm not buying that. <laughs> I feel a rational need to buy that, but I'm not gonna do it. Oh wow. This is pretty dope though. I wish it wasn't super taped up though. Let's see if Hannah's checked out. If she hasn't checked out yet, I might get this. Alright, well I almost struck out that one. Hannah finally found something. I got strainer bowl a, thing. a pig strainer and uh i got this life i might have messed up couldn't open it to see if the pieces were in it it's got a nice weight to it yeah so i'm pretty hopeful but i'm very distraught about all this tape probably shouldn't even try to take it off but we're going to hannah you'll have to do surgery while we're in the oh. car while i drive i'm terrified careful surgery while we drive Ooh. doing all right it's the edges i worry about Can she do it? You ever got one tear yet, right? No, not any, not anything bad. Just like that, a little tiny bit of paper came up on that one, but nothing, uh, nothing to worry about. Oh, careful! 
Don't soil it. Ooh. Stop light. <laughs> Red light challenge. <laughs> Alright, this is another stoplight, so this triggers a red light challenge. Let me ask you a trivia question. What's the capital of Djibouti? Djibouti. <laughs> ding, 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 ding! Your concentration's pretty serious. Halfway done. <laughs> You're doing good so far. Only one tiny, tiny tear, and it is fine. This is all on top of tape, don't worry. Tape on tape. Does anybody collect not just board games but like different versions of the same game like Monopoly? I've always thought it would be cool to collect all the different Monopolies, but there's like a bajillion of them, so I'd just be swimming in a sea of Monopoly. Okay, Hannah's still rescuing the life game from the tape. Uh, speaking of which, very interesting to just see multiple drums like this taped to a Nerf gun. Normally, our Goodwills would just price them separate. Uh, they didn't on this one. So, uh, these are the drums that typically this gun comes with. So, we'll sell this once we find a tripod for it. It goes on a big gnarly tripod. We'll sell those separate. Um, what do we usually charge for these in our toy booths? Like, I think the drums start at $10. I can't, we can't remember all the little ones. We sell the big ones for quite a bit, but. We'll sell those separate, make most of our money back, and then this is usually, once complete, um, 45, 55. I think we've sold them upwards of 65 a few times, but that's usually like, we'll put the big drums in and sell it for 65 or more, and that's pretty awesome. So anytime I find this gun, I'm really happy. And I think I've mused on enough about wanting to do something with these build your own lightsabers. There's just, they don't show up as much as they used to, so it's not as, bright burning of a dream as it used to be for me but i love mismatched stuff i love the idea of like you know what's that from i, I think obi-wan's episode one lightsaber or something like that and then here's some random pieces and you know you can I, they even they kept making these for quite a while so you could even get like the newer kylo ren parts and put them on these build your own lightsabers i really like that uh, and i think it'll be a fun little attraction for our toy booths if you're able to come in and put your own together, just like at Disney World, because they have, at Disney World, they used to have a thing where you could go build these. Um, now it's a little bit more fancy. Like, I think you're paying a lot more money and building even fancier lightsabers now at the new attractions that they have. So this is kind of, kind of gone, uh, gone away, but I like these. This one didn't have many extra pieces, but like I said, I'm trying to hoard them up. So it at least had an emitter on it, a real nice emitter. So that's cool. But the handle's missing the rest. And these are the newer ones. There's a couple generations of them that are still mostly compatible with each other, but I can just tell by looking, these are slightly newer than some. This one's cool though, it's complete. Several pieces there. I mean, there's, you can see it comes apart into a lot of little pieces even. And you can start putting them together in pretty complicated ways. It's pretty neat. Um, that's probably my find of the day because I, I kind of mentioned on a few videos I wanted to get get back to selling those in our toy booths. Um, I just couldn't leave that beh behind for two bucks. I mean, what am I going to do? Yeah, that's, that's a bargain. Just couldn't do it. So there's that. And uh, how's the life game look? You got all the tape off, didn't got you? Got all the tape. It's a lot of tape. All right, let's take a look at it. Why don't you pop it open and see what's in there? See if we did all right. Hey, it's a so pretty good so start. Good. Yeah. I don't know how many big plastic pieces there are i think we'd have to look at the back of the box to know for sure but hey the spinner's in there this is what i was worried about if the, all the little oh, characters yeah. are in there and it looks like there is it looks right now like it's playable yeah there's a sorry piece in here <laughs> well. a couple of them they, they might be in there because it's missing a couple other pieces who knows yes. how about the cars i don't see too many of those um there's two cars three, three cars i think luckily we might be able to source more of the cars and family pieces yeah from a regular star game I, I think we did all right i i always get nervous buying board game stuff and i've said this on the channel a ton you know there's plenty of people that watch that are kind of into board game stuff or at least reselling them and uh so interesting conversations come up all the time in the comments but I just never want to get into them because I it's like puzzles. I hate I hate the gamble of is it all gonna be there? Because you just never know. 
but I will say what few board games we've gotten our hands on recently. One of our antique malls, uh, the one at one of our brass armadillos, I've been putting board games and puzzles in there and it's been doing really well. So slightly more collectible stuff like that. I'm gonna start buying it up and just trying it out. Uh, we'll, we'll go inside and we'll, you know, there's some pretty easy resources online to verify pieces and stuff. And we'll just be honest on the box, missing a car, missing one figure. But, um, a lot of times the board games will say on the back yeah. what's supposed to be in it. Yeah, contents, game board, six plastic cars, pink and blue people, pegs, uh, three mountains, bridge, seven, seven building spinner, label sheets, stock of play money, insurance policies, promissory notes. Lord, there's a lot of pieces. <laughs> How many figures are there? How many characters does it say? That's kind of really it what I'm most worried That's about. surprising. Huh. Well, it might just be four or five, one for each member of the family. I don't know. I haven't played life. Don't listen. I haven't played life since like 1998. <laughs> life is one of those board games that my family sat down and played together a lot. So. Really? So you're pretty familiar? I am. All right. Well, cool. We'll, that, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Even, even sometimes like the Harry Potter games, the board games, they only often list the pieces on the back of them, but sometimes it's not really a very thorough list. Well, do comment below if you're into board games, uh, if you collect anything specific like different versions of life and stuff like that or different versions of Monopoly. And if you want some extra credit, go over to our Discord today and maybe show me some of your board game collections. Uh, I, I'm only on the surface into board games. It's not something I want to collect for myself, but uh, I, you know, they're cool. I like specialty board games. I love cool stuff like this. So definitely come over to the Discord, especially if you're not already a member over there and show us what you've got. Uh, anything else that we didn't talk about? That's all we got, right? Yeah. You got... What you got? Did you talk about the video games? Oh, I didn't. I skipped the video games. This is the silliest strainer I've ever seen in my life. It is. I wonder if it would be a good planter as well, because the, like, holes at the mm. bottom, you can drain out the water when you put it in there. It could be cute. I got Pirate versus Ninja's Dodgeball, a game I don't have in my Wii collection as well as order up which actually i think we might have to go inside and play because it looks pretty good but i don't know if you know anything about either of these games comment below and uh let us know if we should play them but zoo makes so many silly games <laughs> <laughs> they really do uh we is my uh i'm not sure I, let's let's look i was gonna say it's my second biggest collection i believe that's correct so my biggest collection by far is PlayStation 2 with 675 games and my Wii collection is at 435. That's really interesting because earlier on, mind you, we've only been collecting for about a year and a couple months now. We had no video games before that. We had like two copies of Grand Theft Auto 5. But when we first started buying stuff heavy, obviously Wii shovelware was something that showed up a lot at the thrift. So I didn't pass up anything I, I, I did, that I didn't already own. So. At some point though, PlayStation 2 started pulling ahead, I think simply because like with our trade-in series and stuff like, the stuff I actually want to play is on PlayStation 2, so. We're both very fond of that console, so. Yeah, so we've got way more PlayStation 2, but like, I've been, I don't know, I still feel like I'm bringing home a lot of Wii games, it's just not quite as many as PlayStation 2, but anytime I find Wii games I don't have that are in great condition like this, I get pretty happy. What's your favorite thing you got, Lol? Uh, I mean, I'm You're right. stoked about the board game. Yeah, well, I'm gonna say lightsabers for me, but uh, that's pretty fun. We'll have to go set it up and uh, try it out, make sure most of it's there. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Thanks for going to the thrift store with us. Make sure to come back tomorrow because we do post daily videos on this channel. So we'd love to have you back tomorrow. Um, try to go to the bins a couple times over the next week. So make sure you're here for that. It's gonna be fun. And until then, guys, Peace out.